Okay, we are going to divide a polynomial by a monomial, okay? This looks a little intimidating, but it's really not bad at all. Um, I'm gonna be pretty quick in this video. If you want more details or more examples, I'll link a video over there. I'll also link a playlist with lots of videos where we do more dividing when it's a polynomial by a polynomial and all sorts of fun things over there to check out if you want to. Okay, but let's do this. So you may see it written out like this, um, but more likely you'll probably see it written like this. Do, do, do. Okay, they mean the same thing, but it's usually much easier to work with it written this way. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to break this up, okay? This is kind of another form of the distributive property. So what we're gonna do is 9a squared b over 3ab minus 3ab over 3ab plus 12ab squared over 3ab. Okay, if you're like, that's witchcraft, you can't do that. Look, here's my lovely thing showing you why this is okay. One third plus one third equals two thirds, right? Well, one plus one over three also equals two thirds, right? So we're just separating it out, but it's still the same thing, okay? All right, now these are just a bunch of small monomial problems now, monomial divided by a monomial. So basically we just cancel out what cancels, okay? So I know that three goes into both three and nine. Three goes into three once, it goes into nine three times, right? All right, one of these A's is gonna cancel out with one on the bottom, so we'll just be left with an A, and both those B's are gonna cancel. Ooh, you're like, this isn't too bad, right? So that one I am left with three A. Not bad, right? All right, this one, my threes are gonna cancel, my A's are gonna cancel, and my B's are gonna cancel. But that doesn't mean it's totally gone, right? What we're left with is a one, or in this case, a negative one, okay? Because three goes into three ones, A goes into A ones, B goes into B ones, okay? So what we're left with is a one, okay? Last one, three goes into three once, three goes into 12 four times, okay? Those A's cancel, and one of these B's will cancel with one on the bottom, okay? So I'm left with four, my A's canceled, I'm left with one B. Look at that, that's your answer. Now, depending on your teacher, they may want you to write it with the variables first, just kind of depending on what your teacher wants. Um, but there you go, not too bad, right? All right, get your homework done, go to bed, have dreams about that are nightmares.